Good morning, boys and girls. This morning, we're gonna be doing pop bubble art. You have this in your packet, and hopefully you had a chance to look through it. In your packet, you have, I'll put this down, three cups that you can pour your bubble solution into, and then you should have a couple little bottles of food coloring, okay? So we're gonna pour, well, as you can see, I already did this. I poured my bubble solution into the cups, and then I added, I started out with three drops of um, food coloring, and then I decided I wanted the colors to be darker. You can see I did some earlier. And I put three more colors, three more drops. So I had six drops in each little cup. And you can see I have lighter colors, darker colors, and this is how they turned out. So I did, thought I would, um, try some different ways to do the bubbles. I have different kind of paper here. Let me just set this aside. <laughs> this is the paper you got in your kit. This paper I used earlier is a watercolor paper, which I thought would work nicely, but it didn't absorb. The bubbles kind of bounced off of them, and I'll show you what I mean. So let me show you what I was talking about with the bubbles bouncing off. Watch it won't happen. It just kind of bounced right off of there. I saw it here, you got one bouncing on you. <laughs> okay, so what I decided to do is try this other paper and see if maybe they don't bounce. It works a little bit better, maybe. Try a different color here. Mm, it's still kind of bounced. But that's what you're going to get. This is the paper you have, so yours is going to look kind of like that. Unless maybe you get down closer, but then you might get more of a backsplash on your face. <laughs> yep, I'm going to have purple face. It's not too bad. Okay, so that's what you get when you... I'd like to try straw. Same solution, but I'm going to use straw. Ooh, I like that. They're coming down, and I, it seems like I have to pop it, but I like that. Gumballs. There's one pop. Okay, so that's what it will look like, something like that, if you're going to use a straw. Now, I want to try using a tool I made. <laughs> you can do this at home, get mom or dad to help you. It's just a water bottle, but I, it's my water bottle, my Gerns, okay? And you just take 
squeeze the bottom of it together, rip it off. It cuts really simple with a pair of scissors. Then I have this mess that I found that actually came off a bag of marbles. Okay, but you could get this um, in the when mom and dad buy produce, you could find this around a bag of onions, a, a bag of potatoes, a bag of garlic, shallots, anything like that. We got a windstorm. Okay, so I just put that around the base of my bottle that I cut off, and I put a rubber band around it to hold it on. And I'm going to try to make a cluster bubble. So I'm going to pour one of my colors into this tray. And I think I'll add a little bit more bubble solution to it, just to ensure that I can get the whole bottom of my bottle in there, because it's not perfectly flat. Okay, so you're going to do that. Okay, and now I'm going to blow through the mouthpiece here. Hopefully the wind doesn't pick up when I'm doing it. Oh, let me move that tray. So yeah, look, you get a cluster. And then you could set it down. That's pretty cool. So there's lots of things that we have at home probably that you could think of to make a different pattern. Well, I don't know what's going to happen when I add this, but I'm going to try it <laughs> to get a little bit of a different color here. It might turn into brown. No, it's pretty cool. We have bubbles three different ways. We have the bubble wand, the straw, or your homemade little bubble cluster blower. So hopefully you have fun making bubbles. And that's all I have for you today. Oh, one more thing, one more thing, Miss Audrey. Hold it up to show the difference. <laughs> so this is your cluster, straw, and the bubble wand. Have fun.